Hello all, welcome back to our LT Spice tutorials. So, in this video, we will talk about two types of currents. One current is called a inrush current, and another current is called a steady state current. What is the difference between inrush current and steady state current? Is like example, we see a simple circuit here where we have a 12 volts connected to a 1k load and uh, this load has a capacitance of 100 microfarad and this has a series resistor of 100 ohms now now when this supply is turned on what happens is instantaneously it sees a uh, basically a load with some capacitance and this capacitor tries to charge so there is a load and suddenly the the, the voltage is turned on uh, and the capacitor tries to draw huge current so such a current when the power supply turns on um, is called inrush current uh, it lasts for very a few milliseconds uh, as depending on your load it could be microseconds as well that is one current and then once this capacitor gets charged and the voltage required voltage is developed here the load here draws a current which is constant that means uh, because the resistance is constant here um, <coughs> the current through this load remains constant this is called steady state current okay so inrush current and steady state current and you may ask why this 100 ohm resistor in series okay now when you have a dc supply connected let us assume there is no resistor here what happens is this 12 volts uh, can be set to almost like a short circuit scenario where it draws huge inrush current it is not actually a short circuit scenario but we can treat it as something like a very high current that is being drawn by the load now with that resistor that would be the scenario now if you add a resistor here what happens is this resistor will limit the power on current or the basically what we are calling as inrush current so higher the resistor value lower the inrush current but the problem is inrush current is only for few milliseconds at the beginning right you can you don't have it continuously for that we are unnecessarily having a resistor where we are dissipating power now uh, for that scenario one thing is we have to have a, a trade-off between inrush current that can be tolerated by your circuit and uh, the lowest power consumption that is possible with a resistor so select an appropriate series resistor which is basically a current limiting resistor so the conditions for the simulation of the circuit is we are doing a transient analysis of one for a period of one second and then we have set an initial condition uh, with the spice directive Mm, dot ic and we said the output voltage is initially is zero that means we are starting with a capacitor which has a zero voltage let us try to simulate this and when we simulate uh, let us first try to see how uh, the voltage is developing across this you can see here as expected uh, there is an exponential increase in voltage as per the RC time constant. Now, if we see the current across this capacitor, you can see there is a sudden inrush. So that means almost up to 120 milliamps of current. Uh, there is an inrush. So let us just try to have a marker here. Okay. So you are almost having. Uh, 120 milliamps of inrush current here and then um, when you try to uh, and you can see here once the capacitor is fully charged uh, the current almost becomes uh, uh, negligible considering that let us uh, 
eliminate all those losses let us consider an ideal capacitor so you can see the current is zero okay but the initial interest has gone almost up to 120 milliamps now let us this current this blue curve what we are seeing here is called <coughs> Interest current. It, you can see it is exactly t is equal to zero, and it lasts up to uh, few milliseconds, right? And then, uh, let us try to see what is steady state current. Steady state current, as we said, it is the current that is drawn continuously after some period, a constant current, right? You can see here the the steady state current. That means the current across the load after. Uh, the end capacitor got charged and it's a, it's a constant current which is around 10 milliamps. Okay, so approximately 10 milliamps. So this is called a steady state current. Okay, <clears throat> so two terminologies one is inrush current and one is called uh, steady state current. So one point which we have to remember here is uh, mm, these. Uh, um the the inrush current as we said it depends on the load like for example let us assume i have only 10 microfarad okay and then if we try to simulate you can see the the amount of time for which this current uh, space has got reduced you can see uh, the inrush current got reduced and also the capacitor charging time got reduced that means rc time constant indirectly got reduced and uh, the steady state current state is also reached very very early now one more scenario 100 microfarad okay and then let us have a 1 kilo ohm of uh, series resistor which is very huge basically we don't use that uh, uh, high series resistor because there will be losses associated with it let us try to simulate you can see here because of this 1k resistor the capacitor the blue line IC1 okay the capacitor um, inrush current basically the circuit inrush current okay is just 12 milliamps maximum initially it was um, 10 times higher right now we increased sister which is 10 times higher so the current got reduced by 10 times and you can also see <coughs> the um, steady state current also got reduced uh, and <coughs> Basically, uh, the main problem here is there will be too much of losses associated with this and uh, um, the load gets uh, lower current than the desired what we see here, right? So, it's a trade-off on what uh, is the um, amount of uh, current that is desired for the load, what are the losses that are there and uh, what is the capacitance interest that can be... Um, <coughs> which stand by the circuit all these are uh, very very important parameters to consider while uh, designing this circuit so again to reiterate we have talked about inrush current we have talked about steady state current thank you